At 1.55 on the morning of January the 23rd, 1973, ten years after Sertse emerged, Iceland was subject to one of the most famous eruptions of modern times, when, after lying dormant for at least 5,000 years, a volcano on Jaime, a small island six miles off Iceland's south coast, burst into life, threatening the lives of everyone in its shadow. A vast river of molten lava erupted from a mile-long fissure, or cleft, in the ground and headed for Vesmanir, the island's port. Fortunately, however, it was moving slowly enough to give the authorities time to start an orderly evacuation of the town's 5,300 inhabitants. Six hours after the eruption began, most of them were on their way to the Icelandic mainland, either by plane or fishing boat. Around 200 police, fire crews and rescue workers remained, but there was little they could do as the deadly lava flow and one and a half million tons of ash engulfed much of the town, destroying 350 houses and badly damaging more than 400. Although the lava and other volcanic material had first emanated from a fissure in the ground rather than a mountain, after two days, it began forming a huge cinder cone. As the cone grew, the lava started flowing from its summit. By the end of February, the cone had reached a height of 600 feet and was expelling a torrent of lava and rocks up to 100 feet deep. As the inhabitants of Jaime helplessly watched its terrifying onslaught, they named the cone Eldfell, or Fire Mountain. But a few weeks later, as the great 1,000-yard-wide river of lava, moving at between three and nine yards a day, looked as if it might reach and destroy the fishing harbor, the main source of the town's livelihood, something had to be done. So, in a desperate attempt to stem the deadly flow, seawater was sprayed onto the river of molten rock to try and solidify it, or at least divert its relentless progress. Specialist pumping equipment was brought in from the US and a ship with the ability to direct vast amounts of water moved into the harbor. The operation, in which nearly one and a half billion gallons of water was hosed non-stop onto the lava using 19 miles of pipe and 43 pumps, lasted until early July 1973, when it was judged a success. A short time later, with the harbor saved, the inhabitants of Jaime began to return. They were faced not only with a massive clear-up of their island, but they also had to set about the daunting task of rebuilding hundreds of houses and other buildings destroyed in the eruption.